A high rep squat set is a motherfucker challenge. There's no doubt about that. Get the fuck up. Simon says, get the fuck up. Throw your hands in the sky. All right, this question is dealing with Widowmaker sets, which are basically high rep squat sets. And it's kind of a funny question because he's saying, you know, at rep 12, you feel magical. At 14, it feels like your mom just told your dad that you're not your real, that he's not your real dad. Or at 17, you feel like somebody is uh, telling you that's going to be okay. At rep 20, you feel like you survived something. It just gives at 30, you feel like you're going to die. You know, at 40, if it's just, why do I, why do I do this to myself? It's, it's like, <laughs> you're asking, you're asking the wrong person. Um, I love that kind of shit. So why do you do it? I, I can't answer that, man. It's, it's a challenge, you know, and for, um, for a lot of us, the challenges that we used to be able to do 15 years ago, we may not be able to do anymore. So we have to come up with different challenges. You know, a high rep squat set is a motherfucker challenge. There's no doubt about that because I mean, there's strategy. I mean, I've tried everything, man. You try to just blast into it. And then after 10 reps, you're like, oh man, I'm going to die because you can't breathe. And then the next time you do it, it's like, okay, this time I'm only going to use, if you're using 315, this time I'm only going to push with 315 pounds of force, no more. And I'm just going to chill out. I'm just going to go and just take it easy. And then you get to, then you get more, you get like 17 and then pull, your lungs start to go on fire. Then you get to 20 and at some point in time you start to see God. And then, you know, it's the, the thing with this that that's appealing to a lot of people is unlike doing a single rep max, which takes its own kind of balls and its own kind of mindset, this is a completely different challenge because you're standing up and you don't think you can do another one. And then you sit down and you do another one. And you, it's like taking that one extra step that you didn't know that you could do, that you could do. It's satisfying to take that one extra step and to keep seeing that you can get better and, and progress through the set. And then afterwards, you know, either you did more than you've ever done before or you fell short, but you can analyze it. And you know, that's the cool part is like, man, I fell short because my breathing wasn't on point or I fell short because I was standing up too explosive or I fell short because, you know, I didn't pause every five reps at the top. I mean, there's so many different strategies and, you know, whoever asked this has probably done every strategy that I've talking about, plus some I may not have. You know, we should get together and, you know, have a table talk with five people on how to how to get more reps out of this shit. Um, one time I did 50 with the yoke bar with 315 and to this day have no fucking idea how I did it because I've never been able to replicate it by 15, by 15 reps. So I have no idea what happened there, but I can't explain why. You know, it's just, it's a challenge. And from what I've seen with Widowmaker set, at least on the squats, for me, it's, it's not that bad to recover from. The only thing I'm gonna put out there is you have to make sure, and I know it's hard, you don't drop to the floor because your heart rate's gonna drop too fast. And I don't wanna put the fear of death in anybody, but people have died from doing this shit. So you do not want to drop to the floor and let your heart rate drop. You wanna make sure that if you're gonna go balls out and you're gonna push this to the absolute limit, that there's people around that if you do fall to the floor, they're yelling at your ass to get the fuck up and start walking around and moving so you can gradually let your heart rate fall back down and slow instead of a huge drop with that. Then I also went and put them in the training every week. I mean, this is like a, as Meadows would call it in his training, it's like a challenge set. If you're powerlifting and you're training for a meet, this is not something I would probably recommend doing during the training cycle before a meet. I keep this shit in the off season. But it's, it's, like I said, it's fun and it's a challenge. So why do you do it? It's because it's a challenge. Everybody likes to challenge themselves. At least they should, you know, to see if you, if you can still do it. So that was a fun question to answer because I cracked up just at how it's worded here. I can relate to a lot of that.